Hey everybody, welcome to the den, Gavin in the den this evening. And uh, well, we have a mega unboxing to do tonight. Um, just received these four large parcels from China. Um, this is a Leapin, Lepin unboxing, which for those that don't know, Leapin, Lepin, or however it's pronounced, is the clone or the copy Lego that um, is produced. And um, I've got a couple of these sets so far. I know what's in these four boxes. There's six sets in, in these boxes. And we're going to crack them open. And um, I'm either going to uh, split up the video from the box in and uh, do the builds and comparisons, or um, we're just going to go through the whole lot and then I'll just do the builds. However, it's very busy in the den at the moment. There's a lot going on. And for those that want to have a look around the den, I do post another video. Don't forget, if it's your first time, please subscribe um, and we post stuff from the den about Lego, about games, about all sorts of cool uh, boys toys and one thing or another. But currently, um, just to give an update uh, with at this stage with this particular model and here we have the Millennium Falcon currently I would have said 50% complete it's an absolute monster. I mean, all the weight of the box. I did do an unboxing to this. Unfortunately, the the, uh, the video went wrong. But uh, it, the, the box weighed eight kilos. I've probably got about four plus kilos in my hand at the moment. So there's the Millennium. This is a leaping model. Absolutely gorgeous. Just going to give a full update on this uh, once we get it all completed and everything. But I was really pleased with how this is turning out at the moment. So, without further ado, let's crack open our first box and see what we've got. I know what the six models are going to be, so I'm not too, 100% too sure what order. Now, whilst we're actually finding the best place to go into this, um, one thing I would say is if you're going in with a Stanley knife on any of the stuff sent from China, it doesn't come in the original boxes, it's all packed, uh, as we see on here. I think we've just got to be very careful, because a lot of the time, instruction manuals are very close to the top of the box and I'm quite intrigued because there's no markers on the outside to tell me they all came from the same manufacturer uh, sorry same distributor there's only one manufacturer but um, we can put some links I mean if you search leaping you'll, you'll see loads of stuff on there I'm not going to get into the ethics and all this that's well covered and other people but at the end of the day Ah, okay, so, very cool. Good job I didn't cut too hard. You see right at the top, and here we have. Oh, look at this. Death Star, absolutely. And a crack there. Once again, not going to labour. I'll probably cover this a little bit more in an individual, but the instruction booklets, the one I've been following with Millennium, has been absolutely bob on. It's been a real, a real joy. Um, I know that they, I, I haven't compared these, I don't have these particular models in my collection from Lego, but I know that um, in comparison the big booklets are somewhat shorter, they put a few more instructions on the thing, which I haven't found with the Millennium Falcon as a problem, um, it's not like they're trying to mega, so once again this is probably just for this one kit. Um, we start over, we've got mini fig based on top. A lot of people have gone on about the mini fig qualities, but I've been, um, they, they look great to me. Okay, so lots of bags. The problem that you'll find is they're not numbered, they're not numbered baggies. And uh, wow, absolutely. And uh, it's just part of the deal to be sorting all these out. So now I know for a fact that once all this is taken out, you can't get the stuff back in the same. So, you know, how they pack it at their end has been absolutely amazing. So, there we have the Death Star. Absolutely great stuff. In fact, I'm probably not going to pour this one out fully. But we'll be doing a full build on this one. Uh, like I say, the bags don't get numbered. All right, so it's not like the Lego kits or anything's nice and but I'm, I'm not overly a big fan of the numbered bag, I just think it makes it, uh, I like to get all this, lots of boxes out, get everything set up, and uh, 
sort it, which is half the fun to me, and then go through the build from there. So that's our first one up. We'll stick that one over there and out of the way. And let's, we'll take the next biggest one and have a look on there. Once again, really careful on the top there because as we saw, the instructions were very, very close to the top. So a little bit of picture. Oh, this has got a double seal. So we know that there's six models out of the four packets. We might be looking at a separate, no, this is just double, double wrapped on the top. I'm unsure exactly what we, which one we've got here, but let's pick through the lots of bags, lots of bags going on. Let's get through to this. I mean, just talking about the quality of the parts for this. In some of the reviews, you'll see that I offered all the parts up to. Um, yeah, I can see what's going on here. So, um, I've, I've used all the uh, Lego with um, normal Lego. Yeah, I've used the leaping Lego with leaping blocks with, with Lego and the tolerances are, are absolutely bob on really. Um, I haven't found one component, set of components that differs basically from the rest. And I think what we're looking at here, if somewhere in here, we've got a separate pack here with a code number. I don't know which one that belongs to, but that's obviously one of the separate kits. And the kit that we're unpacking here is, and here she is, wow, there we are, the Ghostbuster Firehouse. Now this isn't in a ring binder, this is in a nice um, edge, there's a, there's a process they call it, but this is just a nice booklet, this is nice, yeah I like this, it's very nice, I don't know if you can see, really the quality and all the stickers and bits and pieces that they have absolutely perfect really nice fraction fractioning cost of the original if you're not bothered if you just want it for building i just want it for building them long gone past the point where i collect lego for the resale value um it's a bit of a bit of an odd game that so but i collect it because i build the modulars and i like the, the models and i like the kits but you know without getting too deep i don't like the price i think the price for that particular this particular kit is what somewhere in the region 269 pounds it's a lot of money and i would say for the like the millennium falcon at the time of recording this there's talk of the millennium falcon being out on the first of october um which is, as far as i'm aware is going to come in somewhere around the 550 mark yeah a billion you know 550 pounds as opposed to getting it uh, another perfect copy for £130, you know, it's, it's, there's no real comparison. And if you're on a budget, but you want to be, I just, you know, anyway, we're not going to get into that. So, so there's uh, the fire station we've got coming up. Um, I'm going to open that last bag in, in a moment. We'll just, we'll do the boxes. Once again, nice and easy on there. Seeing what we've got. Um, delivery time on these things is absolutely stunning. I mean, it all gets sent airmail. Um, it clears through customs beautifully. Um, are you talking everything here was ordered within seven days ago and is, is on the doorstep now. So delivery wise, it's just been an absolute treat. Once again, more blocks branded on the top there. Nice and lovely. They must have a special process for getting this stuff in because, um, quite frankly, um, I think the instructions for this one are, um, you'll find that most of the blocks are all uh, bagged in a, in, in a sequence so you get all your plates together and, and all your beams and everything like that. I didn't find any problem with it, like I said before, I love the, I love the sorting out. Ah, I think this is the... I'm pretty certain this is a very interesting model. Oh, I'm going to screw it up on there. Oh, we're back. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Star Destroyer. Yeah, 
you're not going to get one of those for less than what 1500 pounds now 2000 pounds this will probably be on the reprint schedule for lego i would have thought i imagine all the ucs stuff is going to be reprinted at some point so they would have star destroyer i think that's pretty cool that should have been a giveaway actually with the big the big engines that um, i used to have an original one of these which i picked up from a guy um i wouldn't have said it was the most interesting build but um it's a bit repetitive in parts but it's a stunning model when it's done for space and the problem is here in the den we don't have a lot of space we've got too much gear too much gear okay so there's the death star i'll put that down there for a starter okay so if you haven't stopped already and had a break let's open the next box now i'm assuming that so that's three models we're very much we know we've got six in here uh, once again very gently going in the top there and down uh, once again i want to follow up on individual videos talk about the quality ah okay i think i pretty much know what this is with the uh, this is the ghost house Okay, part of the Monster Fighters collection house. I've got an original over there, which I've not cracked open in the box yet. But I'll be looking to do um, a comparison. That's why I bought these specifically for this. Because I wanted to do a direct comparison to the original, as it were. And there's one kit inside there. So, I mean, this is, this is, this is a lot of brick. This is a huge amount of brick. And uh, I think when you weigh up how much the brick is, obviously that's one of the other models we're waiting for. When you weigh up how much the brick is, um, you know, what, how much this one would cost me. And some of the other ones, most of the stuff's out of print, don't forget. There we go. Got all the, the cool monster fighters. There's the house. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice booklet. It's a lovely booklet, that. I don't see any problems with that. That's going to be a lovely, a lovely build on there. So let's just get rid of that lot. Obviously, I'm going to have to take a few months off work to get all that lot together. I'll stick that one out of the way. And uh, I'm going to pause on this now because I think these are going to take a little bit of. Uh, time just to get into safely and so just let me crack these open and we'll okay so we've uh, it was like double wrap like cheese and uh, very I mean you can't go on about their packing all I would say is once you get all the parts out of the box you're never gonna get them back in the box it's as simple as that so um, you know so what have we got okay well once again another discontinued model got an original of this myself gonna build the original gonna build this here we are the imperial flagship going on ebay at the moment what four five hundred pounds for the original yeah so a lot of money had some good reviews on this once again beautiful booklet absolutely no problems with the booklet all the parts look good and color coding for these things as well I'd be interested to have a look at this and have a look at the uh, and build the original side by side so like I said before keep tuned subscribe because we're gonna do some side by side builds so let's put that away and the last one from this particular setup is the blockade runner okay so there we go another great lovely booklet 1700 pieces i think this here classic classic warship there lots of all the stickers and everything that you need okay i think some of the complaints were some of the minifigs and stickers were perhaps a, a tad blurry but i don't know how closely people were looking i didn't see any big issues so i'm not going to spill that out of the deck so there's our blockade runner okay and i'm poor of a warship so to summarize a lot of brick arrived today 
So we're going to be doing the builds over the next thing. A lot else going on, a lot else happening in the den at the moment. So we're going to be getting rid, of, uh, getting through some of that. So thanks for watching. Post your comments and uh, subscribe, and you can keep up to date with the builds and the comparisons. So till next time. Thank <laughs> you.